Okay, this is going to be a warning that some of these video games are satanic. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's take a look at the new Tekken 8. Look at that. An angel falling from where? From the sky, from heaven. Now, the Bible, God's word, describes how Lucifer fell from heaven. And then later in this video trailer, you're going to see that they show devils. They show what looks like satan not that i ever saw him but that's what they show and if you read the comments they even say oh yeah that's the character named uh devil something devil wh whoever that guy's name now i played video games i played tekken 1 i played tekken 2 i played tekken 3 i played tekken tag i played some of them arcade games and i don't know if i played tekken 4 i stopped because then i realized some of these video games guess what they have demonic themes, whether it be Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, right? The RPG games. It doesn't have to be Final Fantasy VII, but the RPGs, what is it about? What is uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion about? It's about sorcery, witchcraft. There's that game called Witcher. It's about witchcraft, guys. And the people that are doing witchcraft, there's witches out there. The Bible says unless they repent, they're not going to go to heaven. Meaning that they're going to everlasting fire or hell. And God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. He doesn't want anybody to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. That's why I'm making the video because I played these video games. I played hours and hours. Sometimes 10, 12 hours a day. They're addicting. Now, I'm not saying every video game is evil. But I'm saying a lot of them are. And I think most of them you shouldn't be playing. Because if it's not some demonic imagery or witchcraft they're having something like in killing each other like the violent video games like grand theft auto and even some of these other games that are what called indie games and supposed to be for kids they're putting sorcery and witchcraft in those and the bible talks about how in the end times too they repented not of their witchcraft or their sorceries so here you have um this character and i don't i haven't seen the story in this one and it's basically Satan falling from heaven here. And Satan's already defeated, right? Jesus Christ died for your sins. And the Bible says, um, before you loved him, he loved you. And that's why he died. When you were yet sinner, Christ died for you. The question is, though, are you still a sinner? Would you rather have your video games? Maybe you didn't realize it, but now you realize it. The video games that are, in this case, about the devil, they're trying to glorify Satan in Tekken 8. Would you rather have that than have a relationship with God, the one that made you? The reason why I say that, would you be willing to give this up? If you knew, in this case, now you know, right? Maybe you didn't know, but now, if you held on to this game and said, well, I'm going to play these games, Final Fantasy VII, or in this case, Tekken 8, and I'm going to put all my energy and motion. The Bible says, actually, what it says, I have it right behind me in De Deuteronomy 6.5. It says, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And you might say, well, I'm doing that. But I'm saying, are you really doing that if you're playing these video games for hours and hours? And even if it's not hours, are you putting them first? Are you getting more excited for the video game, the Tekken 8 game that's coming out or the new Madden game? Are you getting more excited for that than God? And if you say, well, I don't believe in God, well, then you are denying the one that made you. And a lot of children know that there's a God, right? But then as they get older and they get into sin, and the Bible says sin is the transgression of the law. You broke God's law. And your sins have separated you from God. Maybe that's why you don't realize God is, exists, because your sins have separated you from God. Now what God wants you to do is confess that you're a sinner. Confess these sins and forsake them too. Sometimes that doesn't get preached about for forsaking them, right? If you're a drunkard out there, he wants you to forsake that. If you're sleeping around, fornicating before marriage, the Bible wants you to repent and forsake that. And Jesus is called a Savior. He's the only way. And the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ, his Son. So J Jesus is the Son of the Father. The Father sent his only begotten Son. Why? Because he loved the world. So the Father loved the world so much that he sent his Son for dying for your sins. Now, why did he have to die for your sins? Because Jesus had to shed his blood for the remission of sins. That's just how it works, okay? Jesus had no sin at all, but he died for your sins. Why? Because he loved you. And he wants to have a relationship with you. And maybe you're a Christian out there and didn't know about these video games, but it's just not Tekken 8. 
You know, like I said, I played video game after video game. Even the Call of Duty games is just killing after killing, whether it be Call of Duty or Counter-Strike. Yeah, they're still playing Counter-Strike Go, but that game's been around for a while. And, you know, I was convicted, okay, these games... Um, just killing people like Call of Duty, it's not worth it. And then the other games I was playing, I was playing the Elder Scrolls, and I realized it's about witchcraft, and you're stealing, and you're murdered. There's assassins. And then the fighting games, I saw this, and you know, you're know, you supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. Blessed are the peacemakers. Instead, they show fighting. Even the racing games, right? You're breaking the law by speeding. Should I go on? I could easily go on, right? We could go on. Even Minecraft, they have these same themes in Minecraft. Um set no wicked thing before your eyes so god doesn't want you to set this uh, skulls and um devils before your eyes in these video games i mean i could go on right we could go on and a lot of these games cause addiction problems and covetous where you're coveting to try to get to the next level or the next thing and it can cause anger problems how many people get mad when they die in one of these video games whether it be a big boss battle that's going on for 15 minutes and you die and you get really mad rage so even if you say, well, I don't rage playing video games, I just have fun. Um, how many hours are you wasting? And I say wasting because if you're playing hour after hour, five hours a day or whatever, then I'm going to say it's a waste because you could be either working, you could be with your family, and most importantly, you could be doing something for God, whether it be praying, reading the Bible, God's book is the Bible, the Word of God, um, you know, witnessing for God. Now, if you're not a Christian, again, let me tell you, the reason why they're putting this in a lot of these video games they're into witchcraft and magic themselves and some are satan worshipers so they're putting the devil in this game and other games as kind of like a hero or something but the bible says satan was a murderer from the beginning and he comes to steal kill and destroy and i don't want you to go to hell forever if you just listen to me here for the sake of not going to hell forever even you know fear god the bible says to fear god there's people that, you know, fear people that can kill them. But God, Jesus said, fear God because he can not only kill you, he can destroy your body and your soul in hell fire forever. And the good news is that, you know, you don't have to um, perish. You know, the Bible says, again, he's not willing any should perish, but all come to repentance. But what do you need to repent of? Are you one of those people that now know that these video games are full of witchcraft, Satanism, um, not only swearing and drug use too, right? And you still want to keep them? Well, you need a savior. You need Jesus to save you from your sin. And because if you try to do it on yourself, you're not going to make it. If you say, well, I'm just going to do my best as a best person. The Bible says you already sinned, right? So you've already broken God's law. It's too late. And if you say, well, I'm going to try better next time, you're going to find yourself sinning more and more because you're trying to do it by yourself without Jesus who did it. He's the only one who did it meaning that he kept the law, he didn't sin. So you need to trust Jesus in what he did. He kept the law, he did not sin. He died for your sins as a sacrifice so the Father would be pleased. Otherwise, we'd all be going to hell. So they look. the Father looks on Jesus and what he did and sees his righteousness for your forgiveness. But you have to be willing to Repent of your sin and turn to Jesus and call upon the name of Jesus. So this has been a warning about not only, not only Tekken 8, but these other video games. And my suggestion is just toss them out. And I'm not saying, again, every single video game, but the ones we mentioned, they're evil. Just toss them out and turn to Jesus.